Welcome to our lecture online. Again, very similar to what we've done before, except in this case, the sine is not raised to an exponent, but the cosine is raised to a random exponent. m can be 1, 2, 3, 4, and so forth. Uh, assuming in this case, let's say, assume that m is greater than 1, any integer greater than 1. So what we need to do here is we're going to let u represent the cosine of ax. Let's do that. Let u equals the cosine of ax, and so du dx, the derivative of that with respect to x, is going to be equal to, well, that's going to be the negative sine of ax times the derivative of the constant, which is going to be a, so times a, and putting the dx over here and the a in front, we can say that du then is going to be minus a times the sine of ax dx. So now we look over here and we realize that here we have u to the m power and we also almost have the du. So let's rearrange that. This can be written as the integral of, let me leave a little bit more room here, the integral of the cosine of to the m power of ax times, and let's put it in parentheses here, we have the sine of ax dx. Notice that this here is u to the m power. But here we don't quite have a du. The du is equal to a minus a times this. We only have this portion right here, so we have to also multiply this times a minus a. And let me use a different color. So we have to write this as minus a, and of course if we multiply apply this times a minus a, we also have to divide by a minus a. Now we're ready because this is now the du. So this integral now becomes as follows. This is equal to 1 over minus a times the integral of u to the m power du, and of course that is relatively easy to integrate. So this becomes equal to 1 over minus a times u to the m plus 1 divided by m plus 1, and then resubstituting what u was equal to, this is going to be equal to, and maybe put in the 1, the negative, put it up here, there'll be minus 1 over a times the denominator m plus 1, and then u can now be resubstituted back to the cosine of ax, and it's raised to the m plus 1 power, so this will be the cosine to the m plus 1 power of the angle ax like this and I'll also with a constant of integration. And that will then be the result of the integral of the sine of ax times the cosine to the m power of ax. And that's how it's done.